In this lecture, we'll learn how the stability of the equilibrium points of a nonlinear system can be determined via linear approximation. For a linear system in the form of x dot equals ax, the stability of the origin is determined by the eigenvalues of the matrix A. The origin of x dot equals ax is exponentially stable and therefore also asymptotically stable if and only if all eigenvalues of A have a strictly negative real parts. The origin is unstable if one or more eigenvalues of A have a strictly positive real part. As an example, consider a linear system in this form. Note that among matrices A, B, and C in the status space model, only the matrix A is important to determine the stability of the system. The eigenvalues of A can be found using, for example, the I command in MATLAB. If we type in these two lines in the MATLAB command window, then MATLAB will return the values of the eigenvalues of A, which are minus 1 and minus 2. Calculation of the eigenvalues of a 2 by 2 matrix is simple and can be done by hand. We only need to find the determinant of SI minus A, where I is an identity matrix, and then find the values of S for which the determinant is 0. As you can see here, we obtain the same values of minus 1 and minus 2. We also know that the eigenvalues of A are the same as the poles of the transfer function of the system. We can calculate the transfer function of the system and then find the poles, which are at minus 1 and minus 2. So the origin is exponentially stable. We are now ready to see how the stability of a nonlinear system can be determined from the stability of the linearized system. Let x equals 0 be an equilibrium point for the nonlinear system x dot equals f of x. We assume f is continuously differentiable in a neighborhood of the origin. Define a as the partial of f with respect to x evaluated at the origin. Then the origin is locally exponentially stable if and only if all eigenvalues of a have strictly negative real parts. And it is unstable if one or more eigenvalues of A have a strictly positive real part. Note that if A doesn't have any eigenvalue with positive real parts, but has an eigenvalue with zero real part, we cannot draw any conclusion about the stability of the system. Consider the pendulum example, and remember from the linearization lecture that the Jacobian matrix is in this form. If we linearize the system around the origin, then the matrix A has two eigenvalues with real parts equal to minus 0.5. So the equilibrium is locally exponentially stable. But if we linearize the system around the equilibrium at x1 equals pi and x2 equals 0, then the matrix A has a positive and a negative eigenvalue. Therefore, this equilibrium point is unstable. We now plot the phase portrait of the original nonlinear system and compare it with the phase portrait of the linearized system around the origin. It can be observed that the phase portraits are similar around the origin. However, they are different at points which are not close to the origin. This is because the linearized system is an approximation of the system around the origin and therefore it can only represent the original system around the origin. 